And so Muslims were crossing on these currents, and Columbus knew this. And when he reached um, uh, into the Caribbean, it is one of the reports is that he, he turned the bay in Cuba, and he looked on the mountain and he said Mesquita, which means a mosque in Spanish. Mm -hmm. So he actually identified the presence of Muslims um, before his time. But people don't read about his memoirs, and you know, instead they wrongly say he discovered America. And also there are names, Arabic names, Muslim names, of places within the native uh, conglomerations in, 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 in Central America. And I'm sure you spoke about this in many That's lectures. Right. Yeah, I mean, you will see within the, um, what is left of the native culture. And many times it's only uh, uh, writings on walls and mountainsides because most of the, of the written documents were burnt by the Spanish. And so you'll find uh, the word Mecca, Medina. You'll find these words mentioned many times throughout the southwest of the United States. Um, and so the presence was there, even in Florida. Um, you have a nation of people that some of the writers called uh, black Indians. But actually, when you look at them, you'll see that they, they were dressed like Moroccan Muslims. And uh, one is named Haj Ali, and they had names like this. So they were actually Muslims living amongst the what is now known as Seminoles, mm. the Seminole Nation. You find amongst the Cherokee Nation also, you find uh, the, the, the presence of Arabic writing and, and, and the presence of Muslims. So Muslims were th living throughout the Americas. And, uh, dear viewers, there is a lot to read. And uh, uh, not only recently, studies are confirming Columbus was not the first one who came to the Americas. Leif Erikson, uh, way before him, two or three centuries before. So there has been, from the north and the south, uh, explorations and, and people coming to visit and, and share. And this is the reason why we talk about this, Dr. Quick, is this humanity issue. We are one at the end of the day. Beautiful sermon yesterday, you spoke about the, uh, the oneness of humanity and why we're having problems today because we are looking down at each other rather than mm -hmm. uh, towards one another. That's right. This is a message of Islam. That's right. And, and, and you'll see many places, the Quran, the book of scripture of the Muslims speaks about the fact that humanity was created min nafsin wahida from one entity. So it is from the creation of Adam and then his wife, Hawa, Eve, they uh, were the base. And from them, people spread uh, in countless numbers, like seeds. This is how the Quran um, actually explains it. So the difference in color uh, is actually a superficial difference. The real human being is, is the soul. The real human being is, is what is beneath the flesh. But human beings today put too much emphasis on the color of the skin, or, or, or the, the, the shape of the nose, or the texture of the hair. And uh, when you go deeper into that, you find that human beings are actually from the same family. And, and that concept is very important today um, because nationalism is on the rise, racism is on the rise. And the message of Islam brings people together and shows us that we were created in nations and tribes not to hate one another, but to know one another. And the best amongst us is the one who has taqwa or piety or the consciousness of God. Indeed. Dr. Quick. Uh, your message to the Muslims and non-Muslims. Muslims, although this, these beautiful gems we have in the Quran, mm. we never know, as you know, uh, if you go to a country like Morocco, we have white, black, European. We don't have these things. Now, when you live in, in this country where Muslims live together from different races, mm. still we have a lot of tribalism. Still we're not looking at each other. We have too much of these things which are contradicting the very teachings of the Prophet Muhammad so, so. said, and most people are all equal like the, the teeth of the cum. That's your right. message to our Muslim brothers and sisters and your message to our non-Muslim viewers. Yes, the Muslims, uh, the message to the Muslims as well as our non-Muslims uh, viewers is that really uh, when we look at the creation of Adam and we look at even the DNA which is in our body, we are all really one. And I think it's important for people to begin to see what unites each other. There are major issues in this world today. The environment is screaming for a change. The economy, the social life, drugs are destroying our children. Whether you're Muslim, Christian, Jewish, Hindu, you know, the drug doesn't care what your religion is. And so we need to unite as a, a, a human family and, and deal with these problems. And, and there's no compulsion in religion. Truth stands clear from falsehood. So anybody can choose whatever religion they want, but at least we can unite on living in a state of peace and justice. 
uh, and, and trying to deal with the social problems that our society is facing. For the Muslims, we, can, we should never forget that we have a mission. And that mission is to be, as the Prophet ﷺ was, rahmatan lil alameen. He was a mercy for all nations. And Muslims have to realize that in the teachings of Islam, it's a mercy to the human body, because it shows people how to eat. It's a mercy to the family. It shows us how to live together uh, in a family with justice. It's a, it's a mercy to the community. It shows different nationalities and races how to, to live together. And it is a mercy to the economy, because it shows people how to do business without interest and, and how to be honest with each other. Even a politician, uh, if that person is a moral person, he becomes a mercy instead of a problem for humanity. Indeed, what a beautiful way of putting things together. And it's a challenge to talk about all these things. Uh, but uh, when it's uh, from a person like Dr. Abdullah Hakim Quick, who not only speaks everywhere in the world, and teaches also, he writes, and uh, to visit his website, his personal website, www.hakimquick.com, as you see it at the bottom of the screen. Dear uh, viewers, uh, on your behalf, I thank our uh, esteemed guest, Dr. Quick, for being here. Thank you very much for being with us. Mm -hmm. And for any information about our show or any comments, do not hesitate to contact us at info at fateoflife.net. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Assalamu alaikum.